Hi, welcome to the IT Shed. In today's video, we're going to look at uh, CS50's introduction to programming Python problem set to camel case. So this is a small enough program. The object of this exercise is to take an input from the user in the format of a camel case and output is in the format of uh, underscore. So uh, a lot of variable names. Um, there's different ways of, of uh, different conventions for variable names. Some people use camel case, some people use underscore format. Um, it says here now that Python prefers the underscore format. So um, that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to input something like first name in a camel case format and output it again in um, an underscore. So here we go. First name comes out as first name. Preferred first name. We'll come out as preferred underscore and underscore. So again, we'll uh, make our uh, directory camel. Uh, we'll cd into camel and we'll start our um, program by coding camel.py. And then we'll test it and submit it to CS50 for testing. So, right, let's look at our to do list. First of all, we need to take an input from the user. Then we're going to have to locate any capital letters within that input. And then we're going to have to insert an underscore between the two words. Uh, so first underscore name. So it'll come in as first name and our output will be first underscore name. So let's start at the beginning. Take an input from the user. So we're going to create a variable and go to sentence. And we're just going to take some input. Now if you look at the CS50, it's just input. There's no um, prompt for the user. So we just take the input with a blank, um, blank space. So let's look at locating the capital letter. So how do we locate the capital N, say, in this first name? Well, if you recall from the lecture, we use ASCII tables. It was shown in the, in the lecture that every letter and in Unicode, every character maps to an integer number. So in this case, an ASCII table, I just got this from Tech on the Net, but if you just Google ASCII table, you see that the capital a maps to decimal 65 and uh, capital Z maps to decimal 90. So we need to find any numbers between 65 and 90 will indicate that it's a capital letter. So now that we have that knowledge, how do we practically do that? Well, luckily for us again, <clears throat> Python has an inbuilt function called ORD. So the ORD function will locate by putting in the letter, it will locate the integer of that letter. So if I give it a go here, and I'll just change that to a capital A, run it. And you see 65. Armed with that knowledge, let's go about finding our capital letters. For I in sentence. So that's just, um, we're just going to loop through our our variable sentence, which is a string. So for each character in sentence, if word I. So that's just like earlier I put the H and the A and the Z. It's, to, it's now just taking the character from the variable sentence and inserting it in here greater or equal to 65, which is capital A, and ORD I is smaller or equal to 90, which is capital Z. So then we're going to, if this is the case, so if it's a capital A all the way through to a capital Z, if it's any character in between, if it's any capital letter, then we're going to um, put into a new, a new variable. So we're going to create that variable up here first words 
assigned to an empty string just to show that it is a string. So we're going to use the variable words to rewrite each character in sentence into that variable. So we're going to append it. So if it is a capital letter, we're going to append the underscore, and then we're going to append the capital letter after that. If it's a small letter, we're going to use an else statement to capture that. And we're just going to append the letter itself. Let's look at an example. The variable first name with a capital N in camel case is entered by the user. So in this case, I is equal to small f. So it's not a capital letter. So the else statement comes into effect and prints f. Then I is equal to I. It's not a capital letter. I is printed. R is printed. S is printed. T is printed. So the else statement is in, into effect for all these small letters. The next one is the capital N. Is it a capital letter? Yes, it is between the ASCII 65 and 90. Yes, it is a capital letter. So underscore is printed. And then the I, in this case, which is capital N, is printed. So now A, M, E, are they capital letters? No, they're not. They are printed. So that's basically the run of our program. We just now need to print and test it out. So the camel case first name outputs an underscore. Let's check CS50. And we have all greens. So thank you for joining me in this video and hopefully I will see you in another one.